In this AI VUV review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this artificial intelligence tool. If you have any questions, please comment them below, and I'll also leave a discounted link so you can always get your money's worth for AI VUV. AI VUV lets you convert your text to audio using AI voices that use over 800 plus voices across 80 plus languages. Once we've logged in, we come over here to the dashboard. And as we can see, it has a transcribe overview section. At the moment, obviously, we've not generated any audio, so there'll be nothing to show here. But if we click onto this button or click onto here below dashboard, then we can create our first piece of audio. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create audio. Here we can add a title. You also have options of document upload, where you could upload a PDF or a document, and it would obviously use this and turn this into audio. We also have import from URL, where we could add a link into there and get the text. We have upload audio. This could obviously do this the other way around, so it could do audio back to text. We have image to text and auto splitting. There's also pause settings and pronunciations library. So if we click onto there, you could add a pronunciation and replace it and then set that for whichever language you wanted to use. We also have volume settings, so we could turn that up or down, depending on the decibels you would like. We have speed, so that's automatically set to default, but if you wanted it a bit slower, you could turn it that way, or faster that way. We also have pitch, so if you were looking for something low pitch, you could go that way, high pitch, you could go that way. In this box here is where you type in your audio, and here is where you select what you want the voice to sound like. So if I click onto there, we can see we've got loads of different voices to choose from. You can filter this by the language or accent, so automatically it's set to English US. But if I wanted to change that to UK, we could click on there, and this brings up some UK voices. We can also filter that by male, female, or kids. To get a preview of the voices, you could click on the little play button. With cloud machine learning, your application interprets images, texts, and more. So I like the sound of Finley, so I'm going to go for that one. Obviously, if you wanted to favourite one for another time, you could just click on the little heart there as well. And if you also wanted to use the voice every time, you could set that voice as a default. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Confirm. Then I'm going to go ahead and just paste some information that I've got from Wikipedia that can be read out. Once that's pasted in there, there is another few settings. Say you could highlight a particular word and you could set the tune, so for that particular word it could go lower pitch or higher pitch, you could set the volume or the rate depending on how fast you want it. There's also emphasis, so on the word painter it could go strong and emphasis. There's also say as, so you could set it to say it as characters, letters, digits, cardinal, ordinal, fraction, unit, date, time, telephone, beep sound, spell out or clear, and then you can also Add a pause if you wanted to as well. If you wanted to add a new section, you could go ahead and click on the plus. You could then add a new voice. And then you could also reorder the sections with that as well. So once you're happy there, if you go ahead and click on play audio. Leonardo di Ser Piero da Vinci was an Italian polymath of the High Renaissance who was active as a painter, draftsman, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor and architect. Perfect, so that sounds good. Once you're happy there, you can go ahead and go on download, change voice, or duplicate. Also have the option at the top to convert to speech, and that will fully convert that for us and show up in the create audio section. We can obviously play that, we could highlight it, we could delete it, move it, or add it to a new project. To do that, you could just click on new project and enter a project name. We also have settings such as edit, download, delete, and share. Below create audio, we also have audio to text. So this is obviously doing it the other way around. So if you wanted to do that, go on convert audio to text. Here you could set a title and upload an audio file. Then that will convert that back into text. Alternatively, you could click on select your text to speech audio. So obviously we can select our one that we did earlier. Go on submit. And then that will show here. So at the moment, that's just as in, so at the moment, the status is in progress. But once that's complete, we'll be able to have a look at that and see if it's worked okay.
So we'll come back to that once that's finished being in progress. Below audio to text is projects. Here we obviously haven't created any projects, but if I go on add project, we can set the project name. And then we've got those same options where we can edit it or delete it. You can also click onto the project and you could then create audio, which will go straight into there. Below projects, we also have voices. Here is where we can browse the various voices. So you could select the language and you could set the gender or the voice type filter. You have the options of heart in them to add to a favorite or add as a default. Below voices, we have subtitles. If we click on create new there, then we could upload a audio file and it will generate an SRT file that could be used as subtitles. You can also do this from your text-to-speech. So we could select our earlier text-to-speech and use this. Below there, we have podcasts, which is currently in the beta. I've not been able to get it working just yet, but I'm sure this will be coming soon. We then have background audio. So we could click on create background audio, add a title, select the audio file you want to use. So we can use the one that we used earlier. And you can then select a background audio file from your computer. And this will then play in the background. You can also add a fade in and out, as well as adjusting the volume. If you wanted it quite loud, you could bring it all the way up, quite quiet all the way down. We then have merge audio. If we click on create new there, then we can merge multiple audio files. You can add a title and upload an audio file. Click on add more and upload another one. You can also do this by selecting your text to speech audio. So you could add two. Then there's also the option to loop the audio. So it asks how many times do you want to loop the audio? max 100, you could obviously add your audio files there. Below merge audio is audio converter. Here you can select one of your audio files and select the format that you want to export it as. So I could go for WAV, select the codec, the quality, the sample rate, the channel and the volume. Then if you went ahead and clicked on submit, then you could then download that. We also have a setting section and a support ticket in case you had any problems. And then finally, we're just going to check on the audio to text. So as we can see, that is now completed. We have the options of downloading it as a text file or an SRT, which could be used as subtitles like this section here. So if I download that and if I open that, I can see that that's pretty bang on. And that's just about everything. So what did I think of AI Booth? Well, I thought it was a brilliant voiceover application. Many of the AI voices sounded very realistic and there was a whole range of languages to choose from. I also loved the array of features, such as background audio, audio to text, and subtitles. I would definitely recommend AI Booth. Thanks very much, and I'll see you next time.